Today, I want to tackle a really important subject, which is trading versus holding, and really my general idea for getting quote unquote rich with XRP and what my plan is with that. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is not financial advice. I don't recommend anything. I'm just going to teach you guys and hopefully tell you some cool stuff about what I think would be a proper plan and what I am doing. Having said that, guys, make sure you press the like button, subscribe, and comment something down below because that is all you have to do to enter into our 100 XRP giveaway. And uh, yeah, if you become a channel member, by the way, you can also get this crypto tracking sheet. Uh, you can just download it off the community tab then. Having said that, guys, let's take a little bit of a deeper look at XRP for just a couple of seconds before we start. And things are still looking very, very bullish, guys. I've told you about that for a very long while here. I'm very, very excited to see where XRP is going to be going. But all I'm expecting is upside for right now as we are making higher lows. There are two main scenarios, though. I've told you guys before. Either we correct and get a good correction going to right around this 42 to about 44 cent area. That also follows follows Elliott Wave Theory, which is something that Credible Crypto does and a lot of other big analysts do. That would give us a, a point right here. It also follows the Fibonacci retracement and it just really is something quite pivotal. However, it could also be that we are not testing that as this uh, right here about 45 cents was already enough. Could be. And if that were to be the case, then we would most likely bounce back up from here and then go to test this about 70 or so, 69 cent level. Uh, most likely have kind of the same momentum which we had here, kind of staling that, staling there or kind of going horizontal for just a little bit before continuing the gain all the way up to 90 cents. At least that's what I'm expecting because this move should be quite explosive if we do manage to break out of there. Now, everything kind of confirms that what we've been telling about, but that was not the big question of today. The big question of today was, should I be holding or selling? And how can we get rich with this crypto by doing either? Now, I think it's very important that you guys know a little bit more about my strategy, which is I trade partially and I hold partially. Now, why on earth would I do that? Well, think about it, guys. I've told you more often that I think it's very important that you have this crypto for the longer term. I think it's it's a plan, an idea to create generational wealth. But I've also talked with a couple of people that I, I know for a fact don't have a lot of money to invest in. If you, for example, only have 100 XRP, which is, you know, let's just already decide it's not much and it might really not even make you rich directly. I'm, I'm assuming it won't. Maybe it will. You never know. But it's not really that much money. I think you guys can understand that's just $60. Then you need to find a way to either, you know, get more income by working harder or putting some more aside. Or you need to find a way to trade or even use things like BitTrue or, or Crypto.com to get you more money, right? I've talked to you guys about that before. Because we want to accumulate those coins. Now, there's two things, though. I think it's very important that you have one stash of coins that you're never going to touch, or at least not touch until you have planned it in this sheet, which I recommend you guys all to check out. Otherwise, make one for yourself working in the same way. So either you cash out at places des destined or put in your sheet or not cash out. But another one you kind of have to make to trade. And you don't need to put a crypto tracking sheet like this. You can do it if you want to, but you can also just kind of, you know, do it in a little bit of an easier fashion by just working on an exchange itself. And I like trading a lot because it can, first of all, get you more coins. But also, if you're an accumulator, if you're a holder, you know that those coins, you don't really determine the value in, in, in dollars or in euros. You really think about your stash in terms of coins. Whenever I look at my portfolio and if somebody asks me, you know, how are you doing? I will always tell them, if, if I know them well enough, I would tell them the amount of XRP that I have, not the amount of dollars that it is worth. I mean, theoretically speaking, if I tell them either, they can just look up the other one, but I will just tell them the amount of XRP, which again, I don't really do, but it's about the bigger theory here. I don't really tell people how much I hold. That's not a smart thing to do, but it's about the theory. I would tell them the amount of coins because I think that's what matters, right? I, I know we're going to see various prices, so saying how many dollars it is worth it's not really relevant because it could be something completely different tomorrow. However, with my trading stash, I keep it in euros generally, and I just go enter a position and try to exit while making more money, which is completely different from holding. It's something you should see entirely different. And it's also because I don't want to mess with a hold stash. I don't want to mess with that XRP. I can't afford to be out when we go to the moon. I can't afford that. 
However, we also want to make money on these moves, and that's what I use a different stash for, which is not my, my huge amount of XP that I'll just hold. And yeah, you might argue with, okay, but then if you're so certain, you would just, you know, use all that XRP that you're accumulating to also trade with because you're so certain, right? No, I'm not. All right, I know that it may look in your eyes as if more money is going to be better all the time, but it's not necessarily that trading with more money is going to be better, more beneficial to you because I don't even trade with all the money that I have. And for example, let's say you have an account of about $100,000, which is a huge amount. I'm just giving an example. You would normally only open a position or trade with about 1% of that. And that's what you would do these moves with. Now, 1%, sometimes maybe 3%, but you wouldn't use the full full balance of your portfolio because, well, you'd have to make multiple trades, right? What if you lose this one and you lost all your money? And you might say, yeah, but I had a stop loss. Well, in my opinion, it's about, you know, just making success successively <laughs> or on longer periods of time, not just once and be out. It's the idea to make money over time. And Again, that's one side of things which is very important and which will make you definitely quite rich. Another thing is just using this tracking sheet to make sure where you're going to be eventually, which is, I guess, the bigger picture of getting rich. But also, you know why I made that Growth Masters Academy channel? I'm going to quickly type it in here. Growth Masters Academy. You guys know why I made that? It's not for me because there's no ads on there and there's nothing I'm advertising with. It's not for me, guys. Trust me on that one when I say that. This I've all made because a couple of you guys came up to me with your stories of saying, man, I'm a single father with two kids. You know, it's being hard for me, this whole crisis and stuff like that. I was like, you know what? Let me, from the bottom of my heart, teach you guys a couple of things about what I do for a living. Why? Because I know that doing this stuff can earn you maybe, maybe a couple hundred bucks a month in maybe like a couple months time, maybe a couple thousand bucks a month, maybe a couple tens of thousands. Maybe even you can do it better than I can and you can make hundreds of thousands a month could be and i'm like teaching you guys is not going to do me much harm unless i give you my <clears throat> my deepest secrets right which i'm not going to do obviously but i'm going to give you guys all the basics and all the stuff you need to start earning money and it, it works all right i've proven it time by time again it works and that's why i'm teaching you guys this stuff but that's also for the bigger theory that i believe in accumulating more crypto and if your job doesn't allow it we have to kind of find some sideways to still make sure we can accumulate more coins because my cash out plan is set all right, I have one of these documents exactly for myself with cash out prices here, with quantity of coins. And maybe if I ever share that, I might just put it in quantity, in percentages, so nobody needs to know <clears throat> the exact amount of coins. But yeah, it's 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 a crazy world out there. You got to be ahead of a lot of the competition, right? We know only 1% of the world owns crypto, yet there's <laughs> you know a ton of people that are still richer than you and that can invest more right now and I, i'm kind of feeling sometimes that the people who can invest more right now will only get richer and richer and richer because they had a head start so we kind of combat that by either looking for some more income ways like what i'm building here and you might also say man why you haven't been uploading well first of all this is all you're going to need to start earning money uh, by only watching these couple of videos you should be set and the second one is the, the crypto is is so heavy for me right now that I do not have time to, again, this is completely for free, just for fun that I'm making these videos. I don't have time to keep updating it so often, right? I will be doing it shortly here, but it's a lot of work that I put into these things because I want to make them as, as clear and as cool as possible. <clears throat> so that is that. But um, my outlook for XRP is very bullish. You guys know that, which is why I don't want to let go of any, any of my real stash coins. And XRP Owl King Solomon also said it before. He is not trading. Why? Because he can't afford that risk. If we're wanting to build generational wealth or something along those lines, it's going to be very risky to put all your money at stake. And I can't recommend that. I like you. I like a lot of you guys, right? I haven't spoken to all of you personally, but a lot of you I have, or I see some stories in the comment section, or I talk with people there, and I just really hope that you succeed in this thing as well. And that's why I keep telling Look for some better opportunities to enter the trade or, or maybe, you know, look up a couple of YouTube videos. You can just look up YouTube videos. You don't have to pay for anything, guys. It's the easiest way to learn. I have a couple of trading books, but literally every book you need, you can find on the internet for free, right? So if you don't want to pay, you don't have to. You can learn everything for free. And if you pay, just know it is mostly because you want to support somebody, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all, but that's the majority of what you're doing. This sheet is, well... This sheet is not difficult to make. It's it's just, I literally put it as a channel membership thing because that's then a way, if you support me, then you get something from me. Otherwise, I had nothing to give. 
right? Then why would you support me is what I'm going through. But you can literally just make it yourself. I am putting it up here so you guys can see exactly what's in it. It's it's very simple. You just have to put in some time, uh, but but you'll manage. And that's why I'm showing it here. So if you, you know, don't want to support, you don't have that couple of bucks a month that you can spend, which I understand, then again, make it. Maybe your time is worth more than that uh, or worth less than that amount of money to, to, to give. And I get that. I really no grudge held. Now, another reason why I sometimes say that holding is going to be very, very important rather than trading is because, well, with trading, you are always making risks or having risks, but also there's a big scarcity effect taking place here. And sometimes I'm, I'm convincing myself that it's more important to just have these coins rather than having these euros in my bank. Because what we all have seen before in the big bull runs that we can get some crazy spikes where we just pump 100% in a day and if you're really trading, you might miss that because you're you're in too late. Uh, but also for the fact that the scarcity is going on so heavily that maybe at one point or another, it's just going to be a lot more difficult to get yourself good positions. And yeah, that, that's kind of the, the, the bigger theory behind it. Sometimes I'm just thinking it, it might be better to do that. And if you're wondering again, which coins I'm holding, I hold a lot of them. I hold Bitcoin, I hold Ethereum, I hold XRP, I hold Chainlink. Not that much, but I do hold a little bit. I have like a very small amount of bitcoin cash because we got it for free uh bitcoin cash of course was given away for free if you held bitcoin so i do have that a little bit have never bought it never sold it i just have it because i you know got it for free uh i have a lot of bitcoin cash which i never claimed though theoretically speaking if i did i would have another you know a little bit of money but i'm too lazy to do that and i don't i didn't at least trust everything before uh i have ada i have ltc i have some bnb on binance i have stellar I have a little bit of EOS, a little bit of TRX, no Monero anymore, and VeChain. That's that's my majority holes. No, that's at least the most of what I got. I used to have a lot of Aave, which was Lend before, but I sold that. Let's quickly see how that one is doing. I sold that at a very stupid time. However, I did convert it to XRP, funny enough. And I think I sold at about 6250 uh, while XRP was at, like, very low. It was, like, uh, I think the start of... I think it was October 25th that I did that. So it was still around 25 cents. I bought myself a huge chunk, changed all my lend, and uh, that was definitely very profitable, <laughs> as we can clearly see. So that was pretty damn cool. But yeah, I'm very positive, very bullish on all these coins, and I still recommend people to pick them up. Even though it's not financial advice, I I'm a pretty big crypto bull, right? So even if you don't go for XRP, which again, you have to completely decide on your own, I think buying crypto is cool. And I also don't think we should be worrying too much about whether or not to buy right here or right here. Because yes, this might result in 10% more coins, or maybe even, you know, let's see from the, the upways, maybe maybe even 50% in gains right there and, and stuff like that. But I, I sometimes also want to remind people that I would rather have a little bit less than be too greedy and miss out. You shouldn't let FOMO kick in where you just put in all your money right now because you want to, you know, make sure you have it, blah, 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 blah. But I'm also sometimes thinking you shouldn't wait too far where you have nothing. So maybe just place these things tactically. And I'm also going to be adding a DCA in here, which I don't even think is necessary because we already have a DCA. No, never mind. I don't need to add that. What, what DCA means is dollar cost averaging, and it's to calculate your average XRP price, but you can already do it here. If you, for example, have bought at $0.25, cents, at $0.50, cents, at a dollar, $2, and once more $0.10, cents, and you bought every time about 1,000 coins. All right, let's do 1,000, 1,000, oh. A thousand, a thousand, a thousand. Oh, I can just do it like this. Let me quickly try that. I'm sometimes not too good with it. Sometimes I'm nice. Again, you can see your average price is about 77 cents. You got yourself 5,000 coins in. Again, you can't really sell this much because it doesn't work. You're 48,000 in the minus. I still have to uh, reflect this the other way around. It's still, uh, unfortunately, the other way, the deduction. But you guys get the idea, right? You can see your average price and you know, okay, since I bought at all of these points, I have to reach 77 cents to be profitable per XRP. And stuff like that would just help you throughout your holding journey to make sure you know all your numbers, to make sure you're solid. And if it gets too hot underneath your feet, you can just easily quit or you can easily do something else. And I, I'm not I'm never going to recommend people to sell their crypto to buy, you know, look, luxuries and stupid stuff. But I do recommend people to sell their crypto if they can find something which will give them a higher ROI or which is more tangible in the real world. For example, if you have to sell some crypto to buy yourself a restaurant, which you first of all love and second of all, you know, is, is something in real life. 
I would definitely re recommend people to sometimes do that. Maybe not to cash out 100%, but sometimes you can definitely, definitely do. The thing is, though, there, there's always going to be this debate of, yeah, but if I just keep it an XRP, I'll have more money in the end. You might. But there's always a risk to XRP, which, even though there is with restaurants as well, like we saw with the pandemic, it's it's a different sort of risk that you might, you know, like taking a little bit more. And you're also just creating possibly generational things, you know, and, and, and tangible things mostly. Because I love XRP, don't get me wrong. But it's also important to keep going, which is why I'm teaching you guys here about how to buy some stuff as well. I'm going to be uploading more about that, how I can, I mean, there's a lot of money to be made here, guys. I just want to teach a lot, a lot of you, but I know a couple of you guys will only get it. A lot of you guys will just try and fail, but um, I'm going to try to do my best. So make sure you check this channel out. Make sure you subscribe to it. It's definitely going to be worth it if you like social media. If you don't, this might not be the job for you. It might not be that thing, but I'm also thinking about hiring a couple of people, given a, a pretty nice salary, I think. Just again, a couple of these crypto buddies like you guys. And, uh, you know, seeing if you can really take something off by first learning as an employee. But I still have to see what exactly we're going to be doing, guys. So, um, yeah, that was it. I think holding is fine. Trading is fine. They both have different purposes. Trading, you're going to mostly do to increase your portfolio if you don't have that much. Or you have a ton of it. Or if you're, you know, kind of in the middle of things. You're not really sure exactly what your plans are. You can do it if you know how to trade. With holding, it's just a good for always. If you think XP is going to go up, you can hold. If you think it's going to go down, you can hold. If you already have a lot of money, you can hold. If you don't have a lot of money, you can just hold. It's 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 fine for all, right? Which is why I still recommend trading uh, or still recommend holding over trading if you don't know what you're doing properly. And why I would say trade on the side and make holding your first priority because it's the safest bet. If prices go down, you're not going to lose any coins. You're just losing some value, which is not cashed out anyway. But yeah, consider it. Think about it. If you want this sheet, again, become a channel member. It's pretty simple. And make sure you follow this channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of cool things on here. And it's definitely going to be worth your time. I'm even sometimes thinking about building a course, which is going to be paid, by the way, if I were to make it, because I would give away my secrets, of how you can literally earn, guys, trust me when I say this, I'm not lying to you, tens of thousands, possibly, again, a couple of you guys are smarter than I am, could even earn hundreds of thousands a month with, with literally two or three hours a day. Literally. Because it's, it's being done, all right? I know people who can do it uh, if they wanted to, if they put in more effort and, and worked a little bit harder. I personally can't because I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm honestly too lazy as well, but it's possible. And I know the, I know the stuff you need to do, all right? So I, I might do that, but I don't know too much. I, I've made a poll on here for seeing if you guys are interested in it, but 